The Scotland national cricket team represents the country of Scotland. They play their home matches at The Grange, Edinburgh. Scotland became associate members of the International Cricket Council in 1994 after severing links with the England cricket team two years earlier. Since then, they have played in three Cricket World Cups 1999, 2007 and, 2015 and three ICC World 2020 tournaments 2007, 2009 and 2016. However, their first win in either of these events did not come until they beat Hong Kong in the 2016 World 2020. Scottish cricket team is governed by Cricket Scotland. Scotland have also played in every ICC Intercontinental Cup tournament, winning the inaugural edition in 2004. Between 2010 and 2013, the team competed in the ECB 40 as the Scottish Saltires. Kyle Kutzer became captain of the side in November 2016 after Preston Momsen who had captained the side since September 2014 stepped down. The coach is New Zealander Grant Bradburn, who took on the role in April 2014. In April 2018, the ICC decided to grant full 2020 international status to all its members. Therefore, all 2020 matches played between Scotland and other ICC members after 1 January 2019 will be a full T20I. History Topic Before ICC membership The first recorded cricket match in Scotland took place in Alloa in 1785. It would be another 80 years, however, before Scotland played their first full match, against Surrey in 1865, which they won by 172 runs. The first Scottish Cricket Union was formed in 1879, and the national team beat Australia by seven wickets three years later. The Cricket Union became defunct in 1883, and Grange Cricket Club took over the administration of the game until 1909. The first match against Ireland took place in Dublin in 1888, with Ireland winning. They also played South Africa, West Indies, an all-Indian team, and New Zealand before the start of World War II. 1948 saw Australia visit Scotland for two games at the end of their tour of England. These games, both of which were won by the Australians, were to be the last international games for Don Bradman. The Don signed off in typical style, making a fine unbeaten 123 in the innings victory. Scotland first competed in English domestic cricket in 1980, when they competed in the Benson and Hedges Cup for the first time. Three years later they took part in the NatWest Trophy. Their first Benson and Hedges win came against Lancashire in 1986. Topic: <laughs> Scottish cricketers. The most famous cricketers to have come from Scotland are probably the former England captain, Mike Dennis, Warwickshire all-rounder Dougie Brown, and former England Test player Gavin Hamilton. Another great Scottish cricketer was B.R. Lager Hardy, who was a major contributor to the successful Essex side of the 1970s and 1980s. Possibly one of the best spinners and certainly a respected journalist was the aptly named Ian Peebles, who was one of the cricketers of the year in 1931 alongside Don Bradman. The most infamous cricketer, a man who was vilified in Australia, was a Scot, Douglas Jardine, father to an inventor of body theory, which is well documented under bodyline. Jardine was born in British India, and died in Switzerland, spending most of his life in England. However, his parents were Scottish. He asked for his ashes to be scattered in Scotland and gave his own children Scottish names. Topic. ICC membership In 1992 Scotland severed their ties with the Test and County Cricket Board and England, and gained associate membership of the ICC in their own right in 1994. They competed in the ICC Trophy for the first time in 1997, finishing third and qualifying for the 1999 World Cup, where they lost all their games. The 2001 ICC Trophy saw them finish fourth, losing a playoff game to Canada, but they won the 2005 tournament, beating longtime rivals Ireland in the final. 2004 saw Scotland first confirm themselves as one of the leading associate nations by winning the inaugural Intercontinental Cup. However, they did not progress beyond the first round in the 2005 tournament.
Topic 2006 March 2006 saw Scotland embark on a preseason tour to Barbados. They performed with some credit, although they only won one of their six games, against a Barbados eleven. They owed much of their success to Dougie Brown, who re-qualified to represent Scotland internationally in 2004. They competed in the C&G Trophy in English domestic cricket in the early part of the 2006 English cricket season. They performed better than expected, winning three of their nine games, and finishing eighth in the Northern Conference. In June, they played their first ODI since the 1999 World Cup when they took on Pakistan in Edinburgh. Without key players Dougie Brown and Navdeep Punya, they lost by five wickets. They finally got their first ODI win in the European Championships in August with a win over Holland in a rain-shortened game. They again missed key players for some games in this tournament though, and thanks to their loss against Ireland, finished second in the tournament. During 2006 and early 2007, Scotland participated in the third edition of the Intercontinental Cup. They beat Namibia by an innings in May 2006, but draws against Ireland in August and the United Arab Emirates in January 2007 meant that they failed to reach the final. In December 2006, they travelled to Test Nation Bangladesh for a two-match ODI series, their first outside the UK, but lost both matches heavily. Topic 2007. In January 2007, after the Intercontinental Cup match against United Arab Emirates in Sharjah, they travelled to Kenya, first playing in a tri-series against Canada and Kenya in Mombasa, which they finished second in. This was followed by Division I of the World Cricket League in Nairobi, where Scotland finished as runners-up, they then travelled to West Indies for their second World Cup. They again lost all their games and failed to progress beyond the first round. Back in the UK, they competed in the Friends Provident Trophy, their only win coming against Lancashire. They also drew an Intercontinental Cup match against United Arab Emirates and an ODI against Pakistan in July was washed out. In July, Scotland took part in a quadrangular series in Ireland against the hosts, Holland and West Indies. However, the endeavour was not a success. They lost their matches against Ireland and West Indies with the match against Holland being abandoned due to rain. At the beginning of August, Scotland were on Intercontinental Cup duty as they won against Holland by an innings and 59 runs. They then drew with Ireland in a rain-affected match, only gaining three points however after a poor first innings display. India were Scotland's next ODI opponents in mid-August, which was shown live on BBC Scotland from Titwood, Glasgow. The match was reduced slightly to 46 overs after a couple of brief showers, but India won by seven wickets. Having reached the final of the World Cricket League earlier in the year, Scotland qualified to play in the 2020 World Championship held in South Africa. They lost by 51 runs to Pakistan in their first game, and did not get a chance to play their other Group D opponents India, as the game was washed out without a ball being bowled. 2008. In July 2008, Scotland played a tri series against New Zealand and Ireland in Aberdeen, Scotland. Scotland beat Ireland but lost their match against New Zealand. In early August, Scotland participated with five other associate nations in the 2009 ICC World 2020 qualifier in Belfast. Despite an initial loss to hosts Ireland, victory against Bermuda secured a semi final slot. Throwing off the disappointment of an unexpected loss to Holland in the semi-final a few hours earlier, Scotland bounced right back for a nine-wicket victory over Kenya, who had advanced ahead of Canada, to secure third place. However, with only two nations guaranteed to progress, qualification for the 2009 ICC World 2020 was only granted when Zimbabwe confirmed that they would not attend the tournament. On 18 August, Scotland played their first ODI encounter against England hosting the Ald Enemy, at the Grange Cricket Club in Edinburgh. However the match was abandoned due to rain after less than three overs of England's reply to Scotland's 156 ninths. In December 2008, Cricket Scotland, the governing body of Scottish cricket, took the historic act of giving three Scotland players central contracts. Bowlers Gordon Gowdy and Duald Nell and Captain Ryan Watson became the first full-time professional cricketers based in Scotland. Nineteen other cricketers have been offered part-time professional deals. 
2009 Scotland participated in the 2009 ICC World 2020 in England in June 2009. They were drawn alongside Test Nations New Zealand and South Africa in Group D, with both matches being played at the Oval in London. The first match, against New Zealand, was shortened to seven overs per side due to rain. Scotland batted first and made 89 quarters, with Kyle Kutzer top scoring with 33. However, three no balls and a dropped catch enabled New Zealand to win by seven wickets with an over to spare. In the second match, South Africa made 211 fifths, with A.B. de Villiers hitting 79 not out off only 34 balls. In response, Scotland were bowled out for 81, more than half of which was scored by Kutzer 42. The 130-run margin of defeat was the second largest in terms of runs in a 2020 international. 2010 In 2010, Scotland took part in the inaugural ECB 40 tournament. Scotland competed in the qualifiers in the United Arab Emirates, to compete for a place in the 2010 ICC World 2020 in the West Indies. They competed for a place with Afghanistan, Canada, Ireland, Kenya, Holland, United Arab Emirates and USA. The tournament was disappointing for Scotland, going out in the group stage without winning a single match. Scotland's Intercontinental Cup campaign was more successful as they reached the final in December, against Afghanistan, at the bespoke new cricket stadium in Dubai. Scheduled as a four-day first-class match of two innings each side, Afghanistan won the game in eight sessions. This was also the first cricket match of any kind that was live-streamed online, by two Scottish fans, with the agreement of the ICC. 2009 with only the points earned against Namibia being taken through to the Super 8s, Scotland faced a difficult route to the World Cup. Scotland started the Super 8s well by beating Holland in their first match. Defeats against Kenya and Afghanistan followed. The result of which threatened Scotland's qualification for the World Cup as well as the possibility of losing their ODI status if they finished out of the top six. Victory against United Arab Emirates in their last game, and an improved run rate, thanks to the 122-run victory, ensured a top six place for the Scots, securing ODI status until the next round of World Cup qualifiers. The Scottish team qualified for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015 in Australia and New Zealand, but was eliminated after six straight losses out of six matches. New Zealand A Tour of Scotland in 2014 In August 2014, Scotland played a three-match series against New Zealand A at Cambusdoon New Ground, Air. In the first match Grant Elliott and Captain BJ Watling scored centuries and ensured that New Zealand A won by 199 runs. Scotland conceded nearly 150 runs in the last 10 overs. In January 2017 Scotland took part in the 2017 Desert T20 Challenge. They won all three of their group fixtures, before losing to Ireland in the semi-finals. 2017. <inaudible> Zimbabwe Tour of Scotland in 2017 Scotland achieved their first victory against a full member of the ICC when it defeated a touring Zimbabwe side. Topic 2018. Scotland achieved their second victory against a full member of the ICC when it defeated a touring England side. Topic International grounds. Topic Tournament history. <laughs> 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 
Topic: World Cup. Topic: World 2020. Topic: Other tournaments. Only the matches between Scotland, Ireland and Holland in the 2006 tournament have official ODI status. Personnel Playing staff This lists all the active players who have played for the Scotland in the past year since the 17th of June 2017 and the forms in which they have played or any players in italics outside this criteria who have been selected in the team's most recent squad. Key SN equals shirt number equals Topic coaching staff equals Director of Cricket, Andy Tennant Head Coach, Grant Bradburn Assistant and Fielding Coach, Vacant Mental Conditioning Coach Skeptical Smiley Face, Simon Smith Fitness Trainer, N.A. Head Physiotherapist, Myrie McPhail Masseur, N.A. Performance Analyst, Toby Bailey Topic. Coaches The following people have coached the Scottish national side at various stages. For some coaches, the exact dates of their tenure are unavailable, although key tournaments are noted. Topic: Records. International match summary: Scotland. Last updated the 20th of June 2018. Topic: One Day Internationals. Highest team total: 371 fifths v England, the 10th of June 2018 at Edinburgh. Highest individual score: 175. Callum McLeod v Canada, the 27th of January 2014 at Christchurch. Best individual bowling figures: 628s. Josh Davy v Afghanistan, the 14th of January 2015 at Abu Dhabi. ODI record versus other nations Records complete to ODI number 4008. Last updated 10 June 2018. 2020 internationals Highest team total, 189 thirds v Hong Kong national cricket team, 14 January 2017 at Sheikh Zayed Cricket Stadium, Abu Dhabi Highest individual score, 100, Richie Barrington v Bangladesh, 24 July 2012 at The Hague Best individual bowling figures, 5 24, Alastair Evans v Holland, of July 2015 at Edinburgh T20I record versus other nations Records complete to T20I number 677. Last updated the 20th of June 2018. Topic: ICC Trophy. Highest team total: 324 eighths v Ireland, the 13th of July 2005 at Dublin. Highest individual score 94 Ryan Watson v Ireland the 13th of July 2005 at Dublin Best individual bowling figures 6 twelfths Paul Hoffman v Oman the 1st of July 2005 at Belfast Shaw's Bridge Topic See also Cricket in Scotland List of Scotland ODI cricketers List of Scotland T20I cricketers Scottish national cricket captains Sport in Scotland Scotland national women's cricket team